Hello, I'm Mia Karenica. Today we've been working on different types of fences and the shape that they encourage or make in your horse um, and different things you might encounter in the ring. I'm standing next to a lovely set of planks here. Um, this fence is a very upright vertical fence which if you allow yourself to be drawn deep to makes it very difficult for your horse to jump. It creates quite a steep bascule, a tall jump Therefore, you need your takeoff and your landing point to be absolutely identical so that the fence is in the centre of their bascule. As you can see, this plank, as it is, has no ground line to help you back off the fence at all. That's the sort of thing you'll find in the ring. Um, and to help yourself in training, what you can do is just pop a pole out on the takeoff point, on the takeoff side, to allow your horse a little bit more space and to encourage that nice round bascule that we're looking for. Here we have a cross pole, which is a sort of fence we'd use in training. This is a nice tall cross pole. It encourages the horse to the centre of the fence, also encourages him to use his shoulder. And again, that lovely bascule that we're looking for. In this case, we have a ground pole. Um, and again, that helps to get the horse away from the fence slightly and encourage the shape. If we take it away, we make the fence a little more difficult to jump. As there's no ground line, the horse could be drawn close and they have to therefore use, the rider has to learn to use their eye, use their balance to get there in the right takeoff spot, which is the same takeoff and landing, creating that good shape. The tall cross pole also is a little bit more imposing for the horse, so it just gets them to look a bit. If you have a line of them, you've got to stay central all the way down the line, so a very useful training fence. So normal vertical fence for training purposes with the nice uh, ground pole. Here you can see also I've raised the two poles that are to be jumped a little closer together. That creates a better visual effect for the horse, making the top of the fence look a little thicker, a bit bolder, and again encouraging that shape, which is what we're doing all the time. The ground pole is helpful to the horse, so he doesn't run too deep. Um, we want this fence, two yard takeoff point, two yard landing on the other side to the fence exactly in the middle of the bascule that the horse makes. In competition we're likely not to have a fence on the a pole on the ground, we're likely to have a pole in the vertical plane of the fence with no ground line to help us, therefore in training we need to make sure that we're able to ride our horse to an even takeoff spot and an even landing spot so that when we get in the ring it's not an issue. So here we have the triple bar which isn't always used in training and isn't always in the ring. At the higher levels you'll certainly find a triple bar. Now as you can see from its natural, the way it's built, it's a very ascending fence and it sends the horse really up in his jump but can also make him make a little bit of a wider, almost a flatter jump if you're not careful. The takeoff point will be closer, the landing point will be further away. So the challenge of this fence is what this jump then does to the next fence. The most challenging combination you could have is a triple bar to a plank. There you can imagine, you jump here, you make a really bold jump and it takes you just a little further into that distance and then suddenly you've got a plank that you need to jump a vertical fence and you need to get up in the air over. This is an oxa. This one that we have here is a nice square oxa. Um, Again, the, the shape that the horse needs to make over this fence is a fatter, rounder bascule shape. So um, the takeoff point will be a little closer to get the horse up in the air, but then we need to have the momentum to make the width of the fence. The square ox is probably the hardest type of oxer to jump because not only does he have to, has to clear the front rail in height, he also has to make the width. If we make the back rail of the oxer higher, then we call it an ascending oxer. It creates a little bit the same effect as a triple bar in that it gets the horse up in the air um, and is slightly easier to jump with the front rail lower than the back. Um, your most common type of oxer you'll find in the ring when you're jumping is a square 